Hello, just doing a quick video here. Um, got a helmet from Fortnite. It's a Bell Riot. I just want to do a video because it's always hard to buy a helmet online, and then it's also hard to find the helmet you want in a store on the shelf. But I went down to Bellingham, and I found a store that had Bell helmets. This had the Bell 500s, and. Uh, I compared them side by side. This is to the sizes and the shell sizes. And I found that the large shell size was a lot smaller than the extra large uh, shell size by quite a bit. It was like side by side, you could see it, you know, a big difference. So this is pretty good. So it's uh, in a bell box, um, some bell. That was very nice. Uh, Bellhelmets.com. So it comes in a uh, case. Let's put the camera down here so we use two hands. Back up. That's good, it comes protected in a case. Yeah, that's very good. So, the reason I like this helmet is because it's, it is a Bell 500, so the classic shape and look that's been around forever, like, uh, uh, on any given Sunday, or Easy Rider, Captain America, Peter Fonda, you know, they all had the three-quarter helmet. It's quite kind of trendy now, too. Uh, a lot of shows on TV, you guys are wearing the three-quarter helmet. I kind of like it, too. You do get the extra protection. And also the, the riot shield, too, with that down, will kind of cover your face a bit. Not that it's impact, but at least it'll kind of there's another layer of something between you and the road and um, so I was wearing just a fuller helmet just a fuller three-quarter and they seem to be both the same so this fuller I was saying that right or full mer I think yeah this full mer is a extra large Let's show them side by side here so the bell is actually shorter than the Fulmer helmet which makes sense because it is a large the bell's a large this older one's uh, extra large this is my paint job and stuff it doesn't really look like that and I drilled holes in the visor here. I like the long brim visor because I actually do need a visor. It's keep the sound in my eyes. It's not just for looks. It's actually I need one. But it was catch the wind pretty bad, so I drilled holes and I made it a little bit better. But anyway, uh, you have to wear glasses with it, or else you get grit and shit in your eyes and stuff. So, or a good pair of glasses. You have to wear glasses anyway, of course. But I need some a good gla glass that you know won't let the air in and breathing shit in so that's I'm hoping to, that this will do a lot better there's the large there and I see it comes with the clear shield I'll have to take that off later but let's have it on there for now but it's a a good mount so just for comparison I also have another three quarter of a shield That's what I mean by it's so hard to buy a helmet. Like, I don't know. It's hard to get the right helmet. I really like this helmet. This was an LS2. I don't know the model number, but it's an LS2. And it's a type, it's basically another three quarter with a blast shield. But it also had that little chin guard here that can pop out. So that can pop out. So be. Almost identical helmet to the bell. 
that's LS2. Um, but this one is a, I believe, yeah, this is also a large, the LS2 helmet. And it feels real good for about 20 minutes, but then after 20 minutes, it just kills my head right at the front. I have a very oval head. So right at the front, it starts to really be a pain to the point where you have to stop and it's just like, can't take it anymore. And then, yeah, very similar proper riser mounting like the bell. So I finally, uh, on the LS2, I even dug out some of the the padding, which I know you shouldn't do, but I took the liner out and dug out some of the foam inside just because I couldn't stand anymore. I had to get home and I was like, can't take this anymore, so I just dug it out. But it's weird, it's, it feels good, but I would definitely get this helmet again in extra large for me because uh, it's a really good helmet, I really like it, but I couldn't bring myself to buy the same helmet twice in two different sizes, so... That's why I basically why I went with the bell. Now, now that this is out, like before I bought this helmet, this wasn't available. Now it's available, so I want to try the bell, the classic look. So there's three helmets. I got a few more. Uh, another popular one is probably that one there. It's a gyro. It's a, a bicycling helmet, but it's good for. Uh, this is also a large. I'm just right between large and extra large so it makes it tough for you to get a huge mushroom head helmet extra large or a, a small large helmet that kills your head and nothing else is really current that will fit me this is HGC I'll try that one too so let's try them all out and hopefully you have a similar helmet or a friend does and then uh, you can compare like if it fits that guy with a super oval head, maybe it will fit me type thing. Because I just know how hard it is to get to get a helmet that fits, especially online. And like I say, you go to the store, they'll have helmets, but you won't be the right color, size, or whatever that you want. Okay. This one here, this helmet I love is HJC, and of course the size is worn off, so it's gonna be very much help at all. So let's put the camera up here. See how that looks. Okay. Take my glasses off. So this HJC, this helmet fits great. No, I'm lying. It's a bit loose. So it's probably extra large. HJC. Ah, I can't see the size on it anywhere. Darn it. CL-X4SN Razor for what it's worth. But that would be an extra large. It's a bit loose. It is well worn though. Got a lot of hours in that helmet. This is the Fulmer made in Taiwan helmet. So if it's good, I can wear this for days and not even care. This it fits, it's a perfect fit, but no shield, so I have to wear a good set of glasses to keep the grit and shit out, which is a pain. I'm finding, I don't know, pain. That's okay. It's been a good helmet. I'm expecting to keep it. And they're super cheap. They're like $50 or $60. Okay, here's a LS2. These are online. I don't know the model number, but they have the... I don't think you can get this pop out chin thing anymore. Last time I looked, they didn't have it. That's pretty cool. Just a little, and again, it's not crash rated, but it's better than thin air, so it's something. So this helmet is definitely uh, large. And there's the blast shield. And it fits good, except for right now, I feel I don't feel any pressure anywhere, no pressure points. But I know if I ride with this, I just I have to like drop into a store and get a different helmet or something. It just would give me a headache after about an hour. Um, 
It's a gyro. And this is a large, so going a bit smaller again. But a very common helmet. You may have know someone that has one that could you use it for comparison. And that fits good too, because just like feels just like that one. Here's the bell. This is a large bell. Riot. Okay, here's it. it comes snapped up. Show that. I always wonder what that snap is for. I never actually use it. And then. Oh, man. There we go. So, your standard D rings. Not my favorite. That's another good thing about the. LS2 helmet, it has the ratchet, which is really nice. That's definitely the way to go. The little ratchet system. You can put it on and off in a second. You have to pop your helmet off, no big deal. It's great to take it off. Here's the bell. That's pretty good. That's feeling good. A bit tight. And my eyebrow. Ah, I can't see you. But you can ride like this, you know, around town, get up on the highway or behind a semi truck, it's kicking up some grit and shit. Just flop it down. I'm definitely gonna get it feels pretty good actually. So I'll just wear this around the house for a while and on my bike. Just to let it break in. That feels, feels good, I'm glad. So that's a large for me. So if you're between XL and L, I try a large. If it doesn't fit, send it back within the time limit that I have. But I know that the extra large has a lot bigger shell, so you'll get the big mushroom head. Um, but if you need it, you need it, and you'll probably be larger anyway, so it won't really look out of place. And then for the shield, I see a lot of guys do their football helmets, they take the like in car windows, just the tint and tint them. So I'll probably tint this clear shield, which will get it tinted, but also have a little film here. So if I do drop it, it doesn't scratch the shield right away like on every other helmet I have. Well, actually, I got one more helmet here. Just... So this is a. Uh... Another bell, full face, and this one's XL. Mm. Yeah, it's extra large. I can see it, but the tag is in there. I can read it still. Bell, full face. I can't remember the model of this. It's things discontinued now, but it's a couple years old. And that fits pretty snug. If that feels exactly like the large gyro and it's definitely tighter than this. This must be an XL or completely worn out. So that fits, feels about as snug as this new one. That feels good. Yeah, I like the feel of it anyway. So good helmet, hopefully it'll last me a long time. I've been collecting helmets for 20 years, so um, this one's about, had this one for eight, 10 years, and this one's a few years old. This one's probably 15 years old, I had that for 15 years, so. Got a lot of helmets, but after, you know, ten, five to 10 years, they do wear out. The padding in the inside and just I don't know what I need anymore. That's snowmobiling, I don't do that anymore. That's downhill biking, I don't do that, that anymore. Uh that's for working, I don't work anymore. Well I do, but I don't. Dirt biking, dirt biking, uh street riding, I don't do, do that little crotch rock, I should say. 
those aren't mine. So anyway, got a few helmets here. I really like the Bell Riot. Um, small difference between large and extra large. I try the smaller size first if you're on the border and if it doesn't fit make sure you have good, buy it from a place that they can send it back. So that's why I bought from Fort Nine. I'm in Canada. So I can send it back no problem within a certain period of time. 10 to 15 days or something like that. If it didn't fit. But it's looking like it will fit anyway. So hope this helps you out. A lot of bell review Oh, sorry, a lot of helmet review videos talk about the grams and the features and the snaps and blah 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 which is fantastic but they don't show you with them on so it may look a lot better than you than me but at least you can see the difference between the helmets these are all common helmets and that's basically what they look like uh, none of them are going to make you look better I doubt but at least they'll you know have some choice on protection and comfort another huge thing is uh vision I find you know this one has more protection but I do lose vision in this I don't like to wear this helmet but on a cold wet day that'll definitely I like that helmet a lot but for other times you know I want the full vision I want to see what's going on so I can avoid things so it's kind of all a preference thing and your experience and stuff like that on what one you get but uh, hopefully this helps you uh, with your helmet choice um, with the Bell Riot or the Bell 500. That's basically the same helmet, but the Riot just has the fully uh, integrated face shield that has proper mounts, not just snaps like the old style. Okay, have a great day. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. So just uh, for the glasses wearing people. She's going not bad. They're hard to get in at first and then they kind of uh, slip in right below some padding right there. So that's fine. And then this will all be blacked out so no one can see your four eyes uh, glasses wearing person. Okay, have a great day.